Welcome to Let's Play 1001 Games, the series where I work my way through a book called 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today I am hopping right into it with NBA Jam, a very exciting title. Um, you've probably played it on home console or maybe just in the arcade. Uh, this is a larger-than-life basketball simulator. I kind of sound really excited because they really amp up the uh, energy in this game, but uh, honestly, my excitement is probably going to fade because uh, I'm not a high-energy kind of person normally. I, I guess I'm more more middling. Uh, what's what's under options here? What can we do? Timer speed, normal. Drone difficulty. Ooh, well, we'll leave it as normal. Computer assistance on. Tag mode. Too much, too much reading. We don't want to do all this. We just want to hop right into it. Uh, what's the difference between head-to-head -head and team, I wonder? Well, we're going to start with head-to-head, -head and we'll see where that leads us. I do want to record my initials, believe it or not, because I want my... I want my victory to live on forever. Uh, password. No password. Okay. So, NBA Jam, one of the one of the like sports games I actually liked as a kid. Um, it actually includes a lot of real players. You can see there. I'm playing the Super Nintendo version because I think that's what I had as a kid. I had Sega Genesis too, and I probably I probably played it. Okay, I should pay attention to these. So, what do we want? Speed three pointers. Hmm. I like the idea of being able to get lots of three-pointers, because that's how you can really like break away. Might be a horrible strategy, but uh, we're gonna try and go for it. So three-pointers. I'm really just looking at the three-pointer column uh, over here. Oh, I mean that's our team right there, the Hornets. Look at look at Morning. He's he's really good all around. Oops, what did I do? Okay. Taking the Hornets. <clears throat> and we are going up against the Mavericks. I don't know basketball, so I don't know, is that a good team? I mean, I guess we're not playing a whole team, we're just playing two guys. Um, this is some kind of like street version of basketball here. Okay. Oh, look at him. Okay, we want our three-pointers, so... Ugh. Oh come on! Oh, uh, this is this is trouble. I can already tell. Okay, hold on. You can run. Ah, you suck. Get it in. Okay, so we're already down, starting at a deficit. One thing that I liked about this game is you could push people. And you didn't get any kind of, uh, there were no consequences to that. Ooh, there we go. So watch, I'm going to try and push this guy. See, look at that. I don't think that's allowed in real basketball. It would be kind of fun to watch like an anything goes kind of basketball, but I guess at that point you're just watching uh, football, right? Because I mean like, oh, he pushed me. Oh no. Mm. So there's a lot of back and forth going on here. Uh, and I don't know how accurate it is for real basketball or yeah, basketball. Basketball was a Canadian invention. Got to give a nod out to uh, good old, was it Naismith who invented it? Yeah, okay, this three pointer thing is working out. Uh, I think it was Peach Baskets originally. Uh, and people didn't have flair like this back in Naismith's day, let me tell you. It's a modern basketball invention. Ugh. Get him, push him. Be aggressive! Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I wonder if people, would people actually pay to come see two-on-two -two shortened quarters I guess what you could do is set up a bunch of lineups of players, and so rather than just watching one game, 
you could come watch a bunch of mini games, each lasting about uh, twenty minutes or so. That would be interesting. Has has that ever happened in the history of basketball? Because that would be kind of neat to go watch. Um, it'd be sort of like some kind of like exhibition thing. Ugh. Push, push him. Yes. No. No. I don't. I don't know how to make these three point, these three pointers reliably. Man, both sides are just sucking. I'm just gonna dunk. Forget it. Forget all this crap about three pointers and trying to be strategic. Okay, here we go. I think I'm holding it way too long. Just dunk it. Get it in there. Okay, so yeah, what can we say about this game? Uh, what's Jaw there on the on the rest table? Well, we can say that this game is very fun, very fun to play with uh, friends. Oh man, you know what? I, I'm having like a a flashback to Pong. Do you guys? Did anyone actually ever watch my first video? Where, you know, like. I, I was just so concentrated on the game, I was having trouble talking. Um, oh no! I mean, this game's so action-packed! Okay, so... I don't even know the names of the players. Guy in the blue shirt, computer in the blue shirt, has it, passes to me. I shoot, right at the clock, he steals it! Trying to get it back, shooting, shooting, dunking! One second left on the clock, we got it, we got it. Oh, from downtown, wow! Did they get that? Holy crap! That would be like the shot of the week if this was an actual thing. Ooh, halftime report. Like they like sweet music, like really make get you into the mood. This is uh, it's freaking NBA Jam, baby. Get little stats on our guys. The other team looks very happy. My guys are kind of stone faced. I think. I wonder if that's because they're losing. Okay. Okay, we're we're gonna keep going. We're gonna see what we can do here. Um, what was your guys' favorite sports game? So I think I've said it before. I, I was never really into sports games. Um, I think because I wasn't really into sports normally. But this is sort of an anomaly where I was actually kind of into NBA Jam. Nothing but three pointers and pushing. I think that the trick is that I don't know how to block shots. There we go. Caught up. The computer is just useless. That guy just ran right by you. Get it in there. Um. Ooh. Oh, oh no! Uh, it, it's it's the worst feeling in the world where like you steal the ball and you're like, I have a shot to get an extra point, and then they just get it from you. I want to put you on the floor. So I guess they remade this for like PS3 and Xbox and stuff recently because I have that version too. Uh, I thought it would be more authentic to play the kind of like old school one. Oh god, come here, you son of a... And uh, in the PS3 version and stuff, you can play like giant heads modes, mode, which is kind of funny. Um... Okay, just get in there. Uh, and these guys are just running around with giant heads. Uh, you can also play as the mascots, which is pretty funny. So you can be like the Toronto Raptor or... You know, whatever the other mascots are. I, I'm really bad with sports, guys. I mean, I don't know. I'm from Toronto, which is the only reason I know the Toronto Raptor. Uh, you know, if, if there was, like, if IQ tests included, like, sports trivia, I'd probably be legally mentally challenged. 
That's that's the extent of it. Just shoot! Oh no! Why would you jump? Ah! Uh, I think we're we're winning by one point. By the skin of our teeth, we're beating these guys. Coaching tips. Press the turbo and shoot buttons while running towards the basket. Remember, some players have more spectacular dunks than others. I mean, I don't care what their dunks look like. I just want them to actually get it in. That that uh, could sound dirty out of context. Was not meant that way. Hey, he just pushed me, you jerk. Come here. Come here. Uh. Okay, here we go. This is it. The money shot. Ugh. Yes. Oh, come on. These three-pointers are like a blessing and a curse. Because when I get them, I, I get like an immediate kind of little comeback. But I feel like I'm missing them more than I would like to. And as I say that, of course, I get two three-pointers. Um, oh, you son of a... So here's one thing I've always wondered about sports. Um, you know, with sports, they've kind of been the same game for a long, long time. Like the basketball you watch on TV right now, it's probably not that different from the basketball you watched 10 years ago. Was basketball on 20 years ago? Like, you know, say 20 years ago. And basketball is a relatively young sport. Think about like football, baseball even. Baseball was around in like the 30s. Um, and it was kind of the same game, right? Like all the rules were the same and, and all that. Um, and so, oh no, so I have to concentrate. Oh God. Okay. Get it in there. Yeah. These are horrible shots. Why is my guy sucking? Oh God. That was, that I was robbed right there. I definitely should have had that in. Oh, you son of a get over here. I got my red shoes on, buddy. My red shoes. I'm like Dorothy. That should be my, like, street name. Look, there's a flare dunk or whatever it was called. Okay, so sports have basically been the same game for a long, long time. And that's fine. But doesn't it get a little boring? Like, wouldn't it be cool if, like... There were kind of like new additions to basketball every like five years. I'm just thinking, you know, you know, the reason I ask is because if you look at, oh my God, we, we tied. Sweet. If you look at esports, you know, like people who watch StarCraft matches, people who watch the original StarCraft match matches watched it for like a good 10 years, but then eventually StarCraft 2 came out and now people have kind of moved on to that. And StarCraft 1 isn't really as popular anymore. Um, and StarCraft 2 kind of added a whole bunch of, like, things to the game. And so from that perspective, you know, like any eSport that people watch, you know, they're, they're interested in... Uh, oh, my God. It's hard, it's hard forming thoughts and talking while playing this. But basically my point is that... Video games are constantly changing, and people like watching games, but then they like watching the sequels of games. And that kind of keeps it fresh. But with sports, sports are always the same. Basketball is the same basketball than it's been for however long basketball has really been on TV, you know? And same with, uh, you know, football, tennis, hockey, bowling even. Um, and so would, would sports... I mean, sports are so huge, so it's hard to say. But, you know, just would, would more people be interested in them? Or would they, you know, have a whole different element if, like, you know, there was a football version, too. And, like, the teams were different. The court was different. No, not not the court. The field, I guess. But you know what I'm saying? If, if, if like, new rules and new abilities of the players and stuff were, were added to extend it, and then there'd be different versions of these sports. Is that something that sports players are even interested in? Or is it sort of like, that's sacrilege, what I'm saying. You'd be messing up the game. How dare you? You, you try to change baseball. It's been the way it's been for th ever since the 1930s and it's been doing just fine, you know? So yeah, as a, as a gamer, I kind of look at sports and I think, well, you know, they're, I, I could see them being interesting for a while, but I don't think I could ever follow them long term because, you know, they, they never change. I want the sequel to the game. I want the next iteration of basketball um, that's going to add something new and, and freshen it up. So, you know, that's, that's just my two cents. Um, oh God, I can't believe I'm losing. <laughs> 
I should have put the computer on easy. No, you don't get any more. You don't need it. Ah, oh, you jerk. My guy just gave up. Dallas wins. Point of fact, three-pointer strategy is not as good as it sounds. My guys got schooled. Ugh, how, it's terrible. Uh, they gave me a password for that. Hey, in case you want to replay from your first loss, here's a password. Yeah, thanks. What's team game? Yes. Put my name in when I lose. Oh, I see. So head to head, if I had a second player, we could have played against each other. Team game, we could have played on the same team. Uh, I guess, you know, when you're playing solo, it doesn't really matter which option in the, the menu that you pick there. You know, single or uh, whatever. Okay, look, we tried playing with a team I thought was good. Some of these guys have like horrible stats. Like, he sucks for three pointers. Oh, that's interesting. He sucks for three pointers and he sucks for dunks. But together, they make a full person. I was gonna say, let's pick a team that just looks like they're garbage. Because somebody has to have horrible stats. You know what I wonder? When they made this game, did, did, did these players, like did Mutombo and Ellis, did they buy the game, load it up, and go and look at their stats? And were they kind of like disappointed? Was anyone here disappointed? Like maybe Maxwell was like, oh man, like they tell me I suck for dunks? That hurts, like it cuts deep, and I'm horrible on defense too. Like how depressing that would be. And especially there must be a worst player in the game. You know, there's probably a best, which I, I don't know how to find him, but oh man, look at Shrimp. Shrimp is horrible. That would just be so sad if you were Shrimp, if you were him in real life, right? Okay. Guess what, I want to be Shrimp. I want to redeem Shrimp. Because I've never heard of this guy. I'm sure he, he dropped out of the NBA after this game dropped and he saw just how horrible his stats were, really. But you know what? There's something about being the underdog. I dig it. Nobody loves Shrimp, but Shrimp's going to hold his own. We may not win. You know, there aren't a lot of white guys in basketball, so right off the bat, you know Shrimp's in trouble. But, uh... Okay, we're just going to go for dunks with Shrimp because I he doesn't have confidence in his three-pointer abilities. So why should I? Ah, oh, I was trying to shoot. I, I pressed the wrong button. Harper. Okay, here we go. See, look, Shrimp has fl has has flair. Why why did this guy never pop? It's funny, like, okay, I don't know if this is like a race thing, but, you know, obviously there aren't that many white guys in basketball. And I guess for a while, it's so like if you were a good white player, that was like a novelty. But then came, wasn't there like a, a, a huge giant uh, Chinese player recently in the last couple of years? And like, he really took the whole like race novelty card away from any good white players. Because like, uh, you know, again... I don't know how if this is considered racist or whatever, but there, there really weren't many uh, Asian basketball players. None that I could think of. So, you know, what would be next? Like, uh, Indian maybe? Or, or, you know what you don't see is a lot of Australian. Can you name one Australian basketball player? I Man, Shrimp's killing it. He's crushing it. See, everyone underestimates him. They gave him bad stats, but he knows what's up. So Australian, it's like a, another, another ethnicity or kind of, not even ethnicity, but just like what country you're from. Are there Swedish basketball players? I guess, you know, Japanese. Oh, hey, you don't, you don't steal when, when shrimp's Duncan. That's not cool, man. So if you can get like two or three dunks in a row, then they say, he's on fire! 
And uh, then whenever you dunk, you like burn up the uh, the hoop, which is pretty cool. Oh, are you kidding me? Mm, the computer! They get that at the last second. Okay, other sayings that people probably recognize. Oh wait, head fakes. Tap the shoulder button once. However, this also uh, causes you to pick up your dribble. Try faking out CPU drones. I don't know what that meant. I, I'm gonna be honest, that was gibberish to me. For them to think that not only could I decode that, but in the chaos that is NBA Jam, that I could fashion together a working strategy of how to out, you know, fake a, a computer player in the like fraction of a second that I interact with them. I mean, you're really assuming a lot about Shrimp's abilities and mine as, as being the controller of Shrimp. Um, okay. Oh no! Ah. Okay. What were we talking about? Were there Swedish players? Nah, I forget. Ugh. Oh no. Oh wait. Shrimp does all the dunking, man. Your goal, Kemp, is to get the ball and pass to Shrimp. Because Shrimp's the star of this show. This is like my version of, of the Mighty Ducks. Okay, I'll, I'll let you take a shot. Don't mess it up. I said don't mess it up, man. You know, Shrimp's like this kid from like, you know, an underprivileged home. And like nobody thought he could play basketball. But he's like... He's showing them. And you know what? It's like, this is like, uh, whatever, the one where he actually loses at the end, probably. And it's like, he earns the respect of the other team. It's like, he didn't beat them, but they're like, you know what? You're not a joke to us. And, uh, and earning the respect is like a bigger victory to him than actually if he, well, I mean, winning the game would be the biggest victory, but he didn't win the game. So it's a nice consolation. Uh, that here in their respect. So th that's the, kind of the story we're telling here. You know, like Dallas went into this like, really, we're playing against Shrimp and Kemp? Like, we're going to dominate these fools. And then meanwhile, what's happening is they're getting like the game of their life. And it's like down to the wire. It's like one point away, man. And like, they're fighting tooth and nail. They thought this would be like an easy win on their way to the championships, on their way to like nationals the nationals of basketball but you know we're only like one good three-pointer away from dominating them from dominating them dallas thinks they have it locked up and, and you know what the worst part is or the best part is shrimp's three-pointer stats are horrible and okay at the very end at the very end when we're like down to the wire i'm gonna i'm gonna freaking have him throw a three-pointer and if he gets it in then that's like that moment in the movie where it like slows down on the basketball and it cuts to everyone's face as they're like watching it go in and it's like bouncing around the hoop and whoa, whoa, wait that wasn't the time to do it i don't know why i did a three-pointer right there because we may have put ourselves shrimp may have put himself in a bad situation because now we need more than one three-pointer to win it's okay though i believe in shrimp and Trent believes in himself. Get in there. Heating up. See, Dallas thought it was a joke, man, but it's not. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, God. Trump, you're horrible. Ah. Okay, okay. Ah. Oh. Don't push shrimp. Your self-esteem issues. So we've made uh, an awesome little story here. Making stories when you play games is kind of fun. It mixes it up. Because, like, otherwise, what would we be doing? We'd be watching some computer-generated basketball players who are probably not even playing the game anymore. They're, they're depressed at their, like, stats that this game gave them. And we'd, we'd really have no interest in who wins, but now there's, like, stakes. Now you guys are probably rooting for Shrimp. You'd, like, want to see that three-pointer at the end. And trust me, I'm going to... Shrimp's going to try and give it to you. But see, the thing is, I set it up so that even if he doesn't get it, 
then it's like the scene in the movie it's cutting to everyone's reactions then it doesn't go in and you're like oh man he lost i can't believe he lost but again it's all about the other team is now going to respect him so so we'll see we'll see where this goes i gotta say um i think the stats in this game don't really make any difference because if if I picked a guy with horrible stats, and I, I don't really feel like I'm doing any better or worse than when I picked a guy who I thought had good stats, so... I mean, what the hell do the stats even matter? It's probably like a minor point. Oh no, oh no, no, no! I want the three-pointer! Here we go! Ah, shrimp! Oh, but we tied! We tied! Twist! I didn't see that coming. What does that mean? Wait, was that the last uh, the last round? Avoid pesky defenders and increase the speed of your player by holding down the turbo button. All right. What does this mean? I guess we just keep going. Oh, come on. Look at that flare. Shrimp's got his confidence. Confidence for Shram. Wait, I stole it and then he stole it back. Ridiculous. I want to go on fire. Okay, we're going to have to do one more round after this. Where I set the computer to like dead easy. And then we just dominate them. Because I want to see like some of the fun things about this game. Come here. Come here. I pushed him. Oh, come on. Yeah, like, you got that. Ridiculous. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Shrimp. No, you're, you're losing it. I've seen guys miss that dunk before, and you would think that's impossible. Dude, I guess people must miss it in real life. A dunk must not be a sure thing. Give it to Shrimp. I mean, and who can jump that high? That was that was inhuman. If you were playing basketball and somebody literally did that, you'd be like, I'm playing with freaking Spider-Man. Like, that's insane. Ah! Oh. Push me out of the air. Oh man, we're actually ahead. We're ahead. Unbelievable. Oh my god, we're, we're doing it! We're doing it! Okay, the next one has to be a three-pointer. I mean, I know they're not ahead right now, so it doesn't matter. Oh man, we're crushing it! Okay, here we go. Three-pointer! Uh, it was kind of at the buzzer, too. Uh, oh no. Oh no! Oh, I thought that they were going to get the ball. Guys, we did it. I just redeemed the wor- well, what I thought was possibly one of the worst players in this game. So hopefully if this shrimp guy bought the game and looked at his stats, he actually tried playing as himself to realize, you know what, I'm not as bad as it makes it out to be. Next opponent is Minnesota. Okay, so I guess you have to continue with passwords, which is good because it lets us go in here. Oh man, we're going to be fighting against, like, you know, mannequins. I hope they don't do anything. That would be awesome. Oh wait, let me check the controls. Oh, shoot, shoot, pass, pass. Okay, so I, I thought maybe I was missing a button. I'm not. There, there are no other buttons. Hmm, should we bl play head-to-head -head or team game? Since it makes absolutely no difference, we'll go head-to-head. -head. Because it sounds more aggressive. It's like more like where, yeah, like head to head. There's no team in me. Okay. You have defeated Dallas. Damn straight I have. I didn't defeat them. I humiliated them. Okay, let's pick another bad player. I wish you could pick like, uh... Oh man, that guy has no three-pointers all over the dunks. Oh yeah, this is that weird team. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Wow, look at this guy. 
Parrish is like nothing but defense. He's horrible and everything else. He's the worst. <laughs> I guess he must, you know, be a defensive player, and so maybe he didn't feel bad when he saw those Wokens. Some guys are smiling. Look at Ogmon. Like, it looks like he wants to kill me. Like, he's angry his photo's being taken. Whereas Wilkins is, like, having a good day. Those guys are, are kind of... Well, Morning is confused about what's happening. Johnson, he's chilling. He's chilling. Grant's happy, so's Pippin. Price is posing like it's a grade school photo. Daugherty. Okay, let's, let's pick, a, like, some place that maybe... Uh, is bad. I mean, that's that's hard for me to do because I don't know sports, but... Uh, or you know what? Hell, let's be the Bulls. <laughs> oh my god! Look at Pippin! Jeez. We're just gonna be the Bulls. Screw it. We want to see, uh... We want to see the, the hoops on fire. We want to see everything. The Bulls are gonna dominate it. That's... No bull there, oh, but we lost the tip off. Oh, you are supposed to miss. Let's see what we can do here. Gimme ball. Oh, what? Okay, little note for the AI of this thing. When I knock the ball out of the guy's hand, it can be implied that I wanted it. So you should probably let my guy pick it up. I mean, who knocks the ball out of someone else's hand? Oh, what? Who knocks the ball out of someone else's hand and just lets it go? They're like, yeah, well, you know, I just wanted to show you I could. If I wanted to, I could have stolen that. But uh, I didn't really want it. I'm heating up. Okay, this is it. Everyone recognizes those sayings from NBA Jam. Or people from my generation do. Darn. We gotta, like, get on fire once. Like, that was just showboating. Get. Okay, I just need one more and I'll be on fire. Oh, come on. Just miss. Miss, you fool. Oh, God. I'm kind of... I have to rely on chance because I have no idea how to reliably steal the ball. Like, that was my best attempt right there. I'm trying to push him. Okay. Okay. So chance is with me. I am now heating up. Oh, come on. No, miss, 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 They tease you. They titillate you with the... Whoa, I just missed a dunk. I told you that could happen. They tease you with heating up. Wow, that guy missed a dunk, too. That's very embarrassing. The buzzer. Nobody's around. Pure open uh, hoop. No one there to block you, and he totally just messes it up cause a teammate controlled by the cpo to shoot her pass by pressing your own shooter pass but you know, didn't give me a lot of time to read that i think i figured that part out when the computer on your team has the ball you can control them uh, you can't tell them where to move but you can affect whether they're going to pass or shoot i like that helicopter move well it makes him very dizzy Okay, just need one more. Okay, give it to me. What? Miss, miss! Oh, God. It is... I I remember... I guess it happened when I played with, like, my brother and stuff, where we would actually, like, heat up. Because against the computer, it is, like, damn near impossible. For, for, like, why did my guy jump right there? Don't jump. Wait for the ball, you idiot. It's damn near impossible to get on fire when you're playing the computer, because they'll never let you get more than, like, one. Like, now he's just gonna... Oh, he fudged it again. Wow, man. Fire. Yeah, look at that. Okay, now now we need to get this ball. Come on, don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Ah, oh, you ruined my fire. 
idiot. I don't even know what, I guess the, the good of fire is you get unlimited turbo. I think that was the, the thing. And it looked cool. He's on fire! That's what they would say. Uh, I mean, beyond this, beyond, beyond trying to get on fire, this is kind of like a boring match to watch. Because it's just like, watch me dunk. Oh, or I mean, you know, okay, fine. This guy, okay. Okay, he's going to shoot then. I, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm just running back and forth, throwing a ball in a hoop. My, this guy's job isn't that complicated. What do you want out of him? Pass to me. Thank you. Oh, God. No. Damn. I mean, we're winning by, like, a pretty decisive amount, but I'm still... I still don't like it when these guys get points. Come here, let's... I just want to push him. Okay, I, I'm no longer worrying about points. I just want to physically injure the other team. Because we're at halftime, and... They are in trouble. The halftime report is kind of boring. They show two video clips and then what? Some stats. And like, that's it, man. All right, let's do this. I wonder if I could just run out the clock. Like how long, how long could I hold on to this before they get it? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I have a shot clock, right. Ooh, shot clock violation. Oh, come on. Oh, I got to push him. I want to push you, too. I right, just... Fail. Oh, my God, buddy. Buddy. Yeah, you redeemed yourself, sort of. Do you guys, okay, when you're playing basketball, if you're, like, playing with a friend, do you ever have that friend who just, like, hoards the ball? Because, like, that's what I'm doing. I'm being, like, the glory hog. I'm like, you don't get to shoot, computer. Only I get to shoot. So when you were playing basketball with your friends, did you ever have one friend who, like, always wanted to shoot to the point where, like, he, like, insisted or she that you, like, always pass to them? Oh, my God. It's embarrassing. I need to go back to hurting you. Look. Buddy. Or you know what? Were you that glory hog? Were you Pippin in this scenario where, where he just doesn't let Grant do any of the shooting? You know what? From now on, Pippin's realized the error of his ways. From now on, just Grant's going to shoot. Pippin will get it over here. And he'll always pass back to Grant. Because you know what? Grant, you don't want your team having self esteem problems. Okay, what the hell is that? I knocked it out of his hand. He stood there like an idiot. There you go, Grant. Kaboom! Alright, where's Grant? Here. Grant, you suck. There's a reason I wasn't passing to you, buddy. Mmm, Latner. Okay, the fourth computer I'm playing against, his name is Person. Is that really the guy's name, or did they just kind of like run out and they're like, well, I don't know, he's a human. Call him a person. End of the third quarter. I wonder how many quarters there are. That's a joke, by the way. Horrible joke. An open player is more likely to make a basket, so pass to your open teammate whenever possible. Something about anticipating your opponents down there. We don't anticipate in this game. We just destroy. You fool. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Grant's supposed to be doing this. Oh, okay, well, uh, that was intentional. Where's Grant? Here, there you go, buddy. Feel good about yourself. I guess it's, it's telling when I'm playing a game... And within, like, oh, boom shakalaka, oh man, brings back memories. But within a round or two, I'm literally just messing around. Like, NBA Jam is fine. But I think I'm, it matters more. Well, that was stupid of both of us. 
Uh, we just let the ball land there, and neither of us did anything. But I think NBA Jam, it really is a two-player game. You know, playing solo, it's like, I don't know, what does this match even matter? I guess if you're trying to unlock stuff. Playing on a harder difficulty. Where's Grant? There you go, buddy. You show them. You show them the Grant. Grant. Grant better than person. There you go, buddy. You suck, Grant. You son of a. Come here. You're getting pushed. One thing I do like about the PlayStation 3 version better is that Grant, man. Is that pushing people's a lot easier? It's so hard to do in this. They're trying to push me though. Grant, Grant. I mean, it doesn't matter. I I could just stand here. We're still gonna win. I'm just gonna dance around a bit. Oh hell! Oh, I was gonna take a shot, but the time ran out. Chicago does need to showboat on uh, the shot uh, clock limit or whatever. Person. Get a real name. Hopefully that guy's not like really revered and respected basketball player. I'm like making a fool of myself. Okay, you know what? We played on normal. We played on very easy. We saw the worst player in the game. We saw a mediocre player who actually is pretty terrible. Or I, I was just trying to do three-pointers, so. What the hell's tag mode? I don't know. But we're going for very hard on very fast. This is just going to be mayhem. Pandemonium. People are going to be going nuts in the stands. Every round's going to last 30 seconds, and the computer's going to be relentless. This is what you call going out on a high note. And you know what? We need shrimp for this. This is uh, the prequel, where Shrimp gets his butt handed to him. Okay, how do we change this? There we go. Okay, we are now Shrimp. Wait. There we go. Okay. We got it. Oh, we're going up against the Miami Heat. I know that name. There's something. Their team. Take your taking all bets right now. Who do you think's gonna win? Well, Shrimp won the tip off. Oh man, we could have a game here. Wow. I'm not doing as horribly as I thought. This is it, man. If Shrimp can beat these guys, he's the best player in the game. I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here with my very limited knowledge and say that Shrimp could be the hidden gem of NBA Jam. And you'd be a fool if you played anyone but him. Like, because I played the Bulls just now on very easy, and yeah, they dominated, but did they dominate by enough? I don't know. I was a little disappointed in their, their level of domination. Gotta be honest. Got to be honest. I mean, you know what I'm noticing is harder? Is the computer is like freaking dodging everything. They're probably more aggressive at getting the ball from me, but I, I mean, I, I just, my whole strategy is run and dunk. Run and dunk. Oh, okay, see, now on easy, I totally could have passed to Shrimp, but there they stole it back. So I missed an opportunity to get a little further ahead. And they're like going for three-pointers. Yeah, to the degree that they get those, they will start beating me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. See, now this is, this is a game here. You know what? Oh, my God. My God. Oh, I should have just... Taking the shot. Jump, shot, pass. Press and hold the shoot button, then press pass button. This allows you to dish off your open 
Dish off to your open teammate. Is dish off like a sports term? Let's go dish off, buddy. Ah, ah, come here. Shrimp want to punch you. Alright, we're we're starting to lose decisively. Oh, you know he's on fire. Get out of here with your steely ways. Okay. I thought for a brief second when this match started that I would be able to go toe to toe, but I cannot. The computer has something called skill, strategy, and it cheats. Every hardcore gamer knows the computer cheats. It's just, they build it into the computers. Okay, so last time I was playing against person, this time it is a miner. Not like a, an underage child, but like somebody who digs in mines. We got uh, Sikali and Miner. Okay. I mean, Shrimp's still doing the majority of the work here. Uh, that was a horrible pass because... Ooh. Okay, you just take the shot, buddy. Because at this point, it's not about who makes the shot. It's We just need points. Oh, he knocked us both down. Let me get a three-pointer. Ugh. Heating up. Heating up. What do we think we're going to lose by? Shrimp just likes to jump now. He He's just, he's like, he's resigned to losing. I mean, as much as he wants to be the underdog, there's a certain point where you're just like, you're too far under. You're done. You're not going to make it. Skip this stupid halftime report. I don't want to see my failure. Wish this was golf. Lower numbers are better. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Jeez. Like, how are you supposed to steal the ball? Did anyone out there ever get really, really good at NBA Jam? Like, who could beat the computer on very hard? I didn't really know anyone who played it enough to be able to develop that high level of skill. I mean, it's not like... You know, like, people played Mario, Zelda, people played all sorts of games, but did anyone sit around and play NBA Jam? Again, it feels like a much better multiplayer game than it does for solo. Because it's a lot of repetition with the solo. Oh, I was pushing you. Oh, Jesus, man. Jesus. Did we? I guess we did, because it was their, their hoop. Ooh. But it doesn't matter, of course. I mean, the computer's doing all the work here. The computer on both teams. <laughs> Probably, like, when I turned it very hard, did Kemp get good? And, like, okay, so Kemp, Sakali, and mine are all good. And and Shrimp is just still, like, in the minor leagues. I'm sure Kemp is, like, you know, rubbing his temples, like, my God, Shrimp, pull it together. Because, like, I'm seeing Kemp, he's, like, stealing the ball occasionally. He's knocking guys down. Oh, man. They didn't deserve that. But, but Shrimp is, like, barely holding it together, man. He's he's just, like, on a wish and a prayer. Jump extra high when shooting, blocking, or rebounding. They need commas by pressing the turbo and shoot button at the same time. Good advice, game. They're giving you little tidbits to try and make you better as you play. Okay. Terrible shot. Wow, the computer made a terrible shot? Hmm. So, I mean, we're we're definitely losing. Let's try a three-pointer. Oh. Okay, let's just nothing but three-pointers from now on. We can we can do this. Shrimp has the confidence. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? And, well, I mean, hey, that works too. 
Oh, man. We are doing it. Holy crap, we're doing it. We're, we're probably still going to lose, but we won't be by as much. Okay, the other team has the ball. Oh, my God. We've, we've been stealing non-stop. Come on, you fool. Ah, oh, we had like three good ones in a row there. Oh man, Shrimp! He's coming from behind! Oh, we got the ball again! We got the ball again! Oh no! Ah, it's, 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 ah. Uh. Every time we steal the ball, and they somehow get it back, it like kills Shrimp a little on the inside. Holy crap! He's gotten like three three-pointers in a row. Oh my god, we got the ball again. We got the ball again. And we got another three point. Oh my god, this is getting intense, man. If we catch up somehow, no, we're not going to. At the buzzer! Oh, oh we could have closed that gap. We were always going to lose, but wow. Did we dig deep at the end there? We found something within ourselves, and it was called three pointer ability. Wow. Shrimp has the same number of three pointers as Miner. And he's like, I don't know, probably got to be better than Shrimp. Holy crap, man, did we pull that together. I mean, really, if you look at if you look at the layout of the, the points, really it was Kemp who was holding us back. I mean, Shrimp got 37 points. Kemp's getting six. It's, a cle it's clearly the computer's fault for why we lost just there. So, I mean, clearly, clearly it wasn't me. We got another password, which I'm not going to record, because, uh, whatever. I mean, what does the password even do? Who cares? I don't know. NBA Jam! This has been Gaming J playing NBA Jam, part of my Let's Play 1001 games. What have we learned today, guys? Um, I think we've learned that even if you're in a video game and they give you crappy stats, hey, don't, uh, don't, uh don't feel bad I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is, is basically hey shrimp had horrible stats and I kind of feel like he did pretty good he might be my new like go-to player if I ever play this I wonder if he's in the PS3 version he's probably not because they've all updated players but man is that was kind of fun playing the crappy player and that was intense at the end Playing a very hard computer and we are actually pulling it together a little at the end that that got me a little excited so okay nba jam very simple idea kind of a fun game can get quite intense um i definitely would totally recommend playing this with, with a friend i mean whether you want to play head-to-head -head, whether you want to play co-op it's it's just far more fun with someone else but hey if you just want to mess around by yourself this game holds up and this is a classic. You play the PS3 version of this, it's not really all that different. So, yeah, I would totally recommend this game. If you're looking for, like, a fun, quick basketball game, you like basketball, this is going to do it for you. It doesn't matter whether you play the old version, the new version. Uh, NBA Jam, totally worth trying out. Um, and that's about all I have to say. So if you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, and as always, I'll be back in a couple of days with a new game. Alright guys, until then, peace.